Hey guys, welcome to Echo Tips and Designs, where engineering meets creativity. From construction tips to DIY projects and real life stories, let's build something great together. Stay tuned. Okay, this is my plan. You can see it's a it's a building, residential building, and here is the area where I would like to introduce my stairs. And uh, I'll just do a quick confirmation of dimensions um, before I continue. This is to enable me know the exact, uh, conf uh, it's confirmed the exact dimension of the staircase given to me and compare them with my architectural drawing. Firstly, I'll create a grid line from the architectural drawing. I have my staircase. Uh, with the width, as you can see, that is the grid line I have created to mark the center point for my staircase. I would uh, continue by making the grid line the hidden grid line. As you can see, it's now hidden. Make the offset to mark my landing. That is my first landing. And as you can see, my second landing is at exactly at the point where grid G falls. I'll also make this a hidden grid line by following the steps like so. And you can see it's now a hidden grid line. I'll quickly introduce my slabs. Applying the necessary loads as you can see. Now I have introduced my landing, my first landing. I would have to introduce my uh, uh, stairs slab for that region. I'll use the peak axis um, method, and you can see I've introduced the slab for that region. 
I'll do the same for my second slab. Notice the way I pick my axis. It's very important. And my uh, second stair slab has been introduced. Now I have to introduce my second landing, which is the landing on the first floor slab. On the first floor. And I'll go back to the last one, and you can see it has been introduced. Now I have to, you can see it's all flat on the first floor. In order for me to make it slanted, I have to introduce what they call planes and let's do that quickly. the 3D. Now let's set our planes. My reference height is 1750. Quickly put that down minus one seven five zero. I'll hit the update. Okay, you can see there was there's a, a little error here. You have to be careful where you place your plane. Where you place your plane, yes. And the positions where you place your plane matters because your plane should be exactly on the slab the grid line related to the slab so i'll have to correct that quickly and update it i actually have to delete all
add in my slabs, I'll have to uh, add my planes and activate them. So I'll click on the plane, I'll click on set slab to plane, and uh, I'll confirm it by doing the same thing, right click on the plane P2, okay I'll click yes, and then do the same thing, right click on the P2, set slab to plane, I'm just confirming it. Yes, and uh, you can see it has automatically set my slab to that plane, and uh, I'll do the same for plane two. As you can see, that is uh, showing us plus one seven five zero. I have to change that to minus because uh, I want it to go downwards. As you can see it's up instead of down so i have to change that down and that uh, part into negative Make it down. can follow the steps uh, they are self-explanatory they are easy to follow they are for beginners if you found this video helpful like comment and subscribe for more photo structure tutorials and engineering content let me know what you like to see next in equities and design Bye.